another good, good morning time to go Oh, we are all looking for adventure We are all looking for adventure Hey friends, it's just me tonight Gonna do a quick video for you guys I know, I know. Paul, I know you're feeling ripped off. It's another one take today. It's good reason, okay? Um, I cannot let John work tonight. As you see, he's already in bed and it's seven o'clock. Um, he has a horrible infection in his foot and um, we're not sure what's going on, but he spiked a fever and he feels so exhausted. So I'm pretty worried about him. Um, today was quite a busy day. It was our Halloween party at church. And so we've been planning this for a few days and working on it. And from the minute we woke up today, John's been working on that and helping me with what I needed to do today. And running the errands and everything. By this afternoon, before we went to the party, he was so exhausted and limping around his poor foot is so swollen and like purple so he was the MC at the party um, they asked him to kind of lead it so he went and he pushed through as best he could he was so amazing and we had a really good party for the kids but during the party um, he looked so wiped out and I felt his head and he had a fever. Now, I don't normally freak out about a fever. I think it's your body's way of fighting off an infection or a problem you're having, but I'm, I feel very worried because he has an infection on his foot that's obvious and it's looking really bad, and then he has a fever. And I know it's because he didn't rest and he's been going all day. So his body is shutting down and saying, nope, we can't keep doing this. And you guys know me. Um, I am not first to jump and get medicine and go to the doctor or anything like that until you need to. So right now he is loaded up on medicine. I gave him all the pain medicine we have and so that the pain would go away and it worked so he could sleep. He has ice on his foot, we cleaned the wound I've tried everything natural and he's been on antibiotics for two days. So cool here. You can just buy antibiotics. You don't have to go to the doctor first. There's good and bad things about that. But we definitely got those yesterday when we started to be pretty worried about it. And so far it's not changing the condition. So we got another one and we might try that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like I don't normally get super worried about things like this, but I do feel worried. So the next step is to take him to the hospital. And we don't want to do it tonight because that's very stressful. And if he can sleep, I think that's the best thing that we can do. And then reassess in the morning. I don't want him to spend a whole night without sleep because I feel like that's not what he needs right now. Tomorrow, we will see if we need to take him in. And that feels very stressful to me and hard. Especially because we are supposed to go to church out of town tomorrow. We have like a area conference and we desperately want to go. Like I want to go so bad. There's even going to be Americans there that I love. And so, and we're supposed to give people a ride in the morning. So we are just praying that this rest is exactly what he needs and that tomorrow we can push through and do that. So I know you guys understand that we're just putting up a quick video, but I mean, this is our goal, to do daily vlogs until Christmas, and we knew there was going to be days like this, where we're behind on the editing, and we've just gotten to this point where we are not ahead anymore. Uh, you guys know that we used to be three days to a week ahead with filming and editing, so that we didn't have to be so rushed, or, you know... Another thing is like privacy, like if we're traveling, we don't necessarily want people to know exactly where we are. 
not everybody's a good person out there that follows us but anyway um yeah we've gotten to this place where we're filming and editing the same day <laughs> and it's not a fun place to be so these one takes yesterday and today and probably tomorrow sorry paul that is just what we have to do right now in order to do our goal of daily vlogs until christmas i think it's okay and you guys understand and it's so funny that our halloween party is like a week after halloween anyway and yeah we're excited and anxious to get into christmas and to share exciting videos as we prepare for christmas for the first time here in the philippines that's a big deal i mean you guys know filipinos love christmas and so it's gonna be really fun just to prepare and experience that for the first time uh yeah so i appreciate you guys watching and supporting us life is good life is so good john's mom if you're watching i promise john's gonna be okay we are not gonna risk anything especially being here things are different and i don't have my normal holistic doctor i can go to or ask questions I I am totally willing to take him to the hospital and do whatever it takes to to take care of him. I should say we don't even know what happened to his foot. Um, the other day when we went to the cemetery for Undas, we were walking in the rain for a long time, and you know the water's not really clean on the street, and we were walking in puddles, and he had shoes on, like laced up shoes and socks on. But I think that morning he had kind of noticed like a bump on his toe and we weren't sure if it was like, you know, when you get like an ingrown hair or something where it's just like a little bump, a little sore and then it'll heal. It's fine. But our theory is like when he walked through that dirty water, maybe it got infected. And um, so I don't know if it started out as like a spider bite or a bug bite or or what. Um, but yeah, it seems like it got dirty somehow or something. So we've been cleaning it and, um, doing all the natural things we know how to do and soaking it in hot water. Um, but yeah, it's just very swollen. Like I can't even show you guys cause it could probably make you sick, but John's amazing. And he's joking and laughing through all of this because that's what he does. Um, and he was even saying, if I get my leg cut off next year, we can be, um, <laughs> for Halloween, we can be these, this guy that like, from the movie, How to Train Your Dragon or something. Uh, the guy doesn't have a leg. And so he thought it would be hilarious if that was our costume next year. But that's totally John. He's just so fun. He jokes about everything. Um, and he still just pushes through and helps me until he's literally sick in bed. So I'm so grateful for him. Um, if you guys want to leave a message for him to read when he wakes up tomorrow, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And please give this video a thumbs up. We appreciate you guys. Um, we really enjoy sharing our lives here on YouTube and all the support and friends we have all over the world. It's so cool. You know, we never knew that, that it would turn into this. We started YouTube so long ago. We had those dreams of being like the Shaytards or, you know, those OG vloggers when YouTube first started. Um, and... You know, we tried daily vlogs several times in the past, and we always just had these these ideas of what YouTube could be for our family, and we never imagined that now it's literally supporting our family, it is paying our bills, it is supporting us living here in the Philippines, which was just always a dream of ours. So you guys don't know how much you mean to us. Every time you click on our video, you are, you are doing something to support our family. Um, whenever we have a video doing well, it always tells me on there, like, that our normal audience, like you guys, that are always subscribed and in here to watch our videos, that you are showing interest in the video and engaging, and that's why it's being shared to more people. So that's really cool. Like you actually help us just by clicking on our videos. So we appreciate it. We really, really do. And we hope that we can continue to share and maybe sh give something back to you in a way. Maybe you know with the ideas we have of doing service here and things like that like maybe we can like be inspirational somehow maybe we can connect with more people or use the money we earn to help people here and that's always on our hearts and and minds and 
And we're trying and we're just working towards those things that that we feel led to do and just so grateful so thank you guys so much today was crazy <laughs> today was hard we need a good night's sleep so thank you for watching this one take and being okay with that i look forward to letting john read your comments in the morning you guys are always so supportive and kind so we will see you tomorrow bye